In this video, we'll take a 3D tour of the fundamental entities that comprise the Rhino universe. There are technically four entities, but the point entity doesn't really count. This is used mostly as a reference or a marker, and not at all for modeling. So that leaves us with three, the curve, the surface, and the solid. It's easy to keep these clear if you just look at the top menu and see them organized one after the other. Here's the curve menu, surface, and the solids. Let's start the tour. Here's our basic point entity. Not much to talk about there. Now we've got some curves. They're both closed, meaning they're joined and there's space inside, and they're open. Now what's cool about a lot of Rhino entities is you can turn on control points and do more editing, and that's really the beauty of the software. So I'm going to hit over here on the main menu, control points on, so we can move those around and make any shape we want. I'm going to hit control Z to put it back in its original spot. We'll keep moving. Here's a few examples of surfaces. Pretty simple. Here's a square flat surface, a rounded surface, and here's some that have been trimmed. These also can have control points turned on, so you can continue with editing. So you can hit this button again, or you can hit F10, which is a great little shortcut. Finally, we've got some solid surfaces. So these are just individual surfaces that have been joined along a shared edge. A lot of people assume that they have to be closed to be qualified as a solid, but that's not the case. So here's some closed examples, and these actually qualify as a solid, or technically you might call it a poly surface in this case. And finally, we've got some special cases. So instead of having multiple surfaces, these two examples here are just single surfaces, but yet somehow they've been deformed or enclose some space. Let's take a look at the multiple entities. Like I mentioned earlier, they can be joined together. So here's a sequence of curves joined together at their endpoints. You can turn on control points for them as well and continue moving them around. This polycurve has got straight sections and curved sections joined together. Not a problem as long as they share endpoints. We turn the control points, you can see the difference. Coming over to the poly surface, we've taken that same curve and extruded it upwards. Now, one of the limitations with the poly surface is you cannot turn on control points for multiple surface entities joined together. If I tried hitting F10, we get kind of a little warning up here. Cannot turn the points on. But it's pretty cool, all the different shapes and surfaces and openings that can be joined together, with the key being they share an edge. So these few entities can be said to be the foundation of all Rhino modeling. This 3D tour is critical to the understanding of how all the entities are closely related to each other. And by related, I mean you can quickly draw a curve and then extrude it into a surface. And when any multiple surfaces then share an edge, they can be joined into a polysurface or a solid. Conversely, you can always go backwards at any time and explode a curve into individual segments or explode a solid into individual surfaces.